thorough manner, not necessarily feeling that they have to rush it through. Uh, questions and comments, the Honourable Member for Windsor West. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I appreciate my colleague's intervention, who works really hard at committee and um, comes well prepared. I understand the amendment he's putting forth right now with regards to consolidation of the Minister's powers um, and not having, I guess, uh, secondary support from Cabinet. Maybe he wants to elaborate more of that. Is this because of the previous Conservative Industry Minister, Maxime Bernier? Is that what this amendment's about, the Maxime Bernier amendment? Thank you. Uh, the Honourable Member for South Shore St. Margaret's. Uh, I'd like to thank my, um, my friend from Windsor West, the, the question. No, actually, I named this the Navdeep Baines <laughs> Amendment, where he didn't review anything that went before him, particularly large companies from China. He approved them all without right. national security reviews. Right. Now we know why Navdeep Baines did that. It was so he could secure himself a big, fat job on Bay Street, first with CIBC, and now with the most expensive telephone provider in the world, Rogers, where he sits atop the tower, now uh, uh, talking about the things he used to regulate and let go through. It's shocking, really, that Liberals would sell themselves for a job. Uh, questions and comments, I'll give the member for Sandwich Gulf Islands a 10-second question. The 10 seconds, tough, Mr. Speaker, to the Honourable Member for South Shore St. Margaret's. One of the acquisitions I wish had been reviewed, and I don't think Bill C-34, even with amendments, would catch it, was paper excellence buying up the pulp and paper mills of this country, all of Catalyst, all of Resolute, and in the member's home province, nor starting with Northern Pulp. It looks like it was all financed by the China Investment Bank. What does the member think about that? The member for South Shore St. Margaret's, 10 seconds. Uh, well, if an acquisition is financed or controlled by a Chinese entity, thanks to the Conservatives, there is now a change to the Act that says anything over zero dollars is now reviewable by Investment Canada. And I appreciate the Honourable Member for bringing that up, which gives me the opportunity to once again explain how important our amendment and improvement to the Act was to look out for those things. Uh, reprise du débat, l'honorable de... Resuming debate, the Honourable Member at Bitsby to Meskimag for about six minutes before question period. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 